guys welcome back to my channel so on today's episode i'm going to show you how to make two different socks so today i'm going to be showing you how to make a beef stock and a chicken stock now what is a stock by the way a stock is an enriched liquid gotten through so in order not to take your time, please let's get started with the cooking process. So for my beef stock, I'm going to be transferring all my beef bone into a pot. So I added my chopped carrot, chopped onion, chopped celery, my crushed garlic, some bay leaves and white pepper. So sprinkle some salt and add water. Now stir together to combine. Now at this point, I'm going to be bringing it to a boil. Afterwards, I reduce the heat. Cover it up to simmer for 2 hours and leave it to cool for another 20 minutes. Now go ahead and remove all bones from the stock. After that you pass the stock through a fine sieve to remove excess particles because the stock needs to be as clean as possible. After that you grab your plastic plate or even a bottle. For me, I love to use bottle because it's kind of safe for me. And you can actually transfer all your stock in the bottle or your plastic plate as you wish and put it in your freezer. For those of you using bottle, please do not put it in the freezer because it is not safe. It's that simple. Now for my chicken stock, I'll go ahead and transfer a little amount of chicken. I just added my onion, my chopped carrot, my chopped celery, my crushed garlic and some bay leaves, sprinkle some salt and some white pepper. Now add a little water. Now I'm going to be using this mod to be cursed. I know I have um, chicken stock in my fridge so that's why I want to go for a little this time. Now bring this to a boil. At the same time reduce the heat and cover it up for another one hour to simmer gently afterwards you leave it cool for another 20 minutes now go ahead and remove the chicken as for the chicken do not discard it you can actually package it and put it in your fridge or shred away the bones and use it for your chicken filling or whatever you want to use it for now after you're done removing all particles now take your stock and pass through a fine sieve to remove excess particles that's the one remaining in the stock now after you're done with that you can actually grab your plastic plate or even a, a jar like i said i love to use a jar but i don't store them in the freezer i just store it in the fridge now transfer all the stock in the jar now cover it up and you are done now you know how to make your chicken stock and your beef stock like i said you can use it for your stew you can use it for your soup you can actually make a large amount of it i'm telling you it doesn't spoil as far as your fridge is in a good condition and you have good um electric supply okay so thank you for watching i know you've learned something new Please, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe, subscribe and subscribe. It's free. And if you want to get instant notification of when I upload, don't forget to hit the notification box just by the side of the subscription button. I love you all. God bless you. See you next time. Bye.